So many of you guys have been asking for an update on the beehive, and I haven't been down here for, for weeks, so I don't really know what's going on. So I've got the bee suit on. Uh, we're going to dig into it, kind of see what's going on. Maybe we can even see the queen. Um, maybe pull a frame or two of honey out, so we'll see. So I'll bring you along, and uh, let's go stir them up, check it out. Well, they've got a lot of comb built since the last time I've been here. You can see there, touching in. Let's, uh, we'll kind of get into the middle and see what they're up to. I apologize, the light's going to be really bad. It's early in the morning and just is not uh, very conducive for filming. You'll see here when I pry these off, and you'll hear that cracking sound. The bees uh, don't like to have any cracks or any holes in the where they live, so they use this stuff that I think it's called propolis. You can see here this orange stuff, and they seal up all the cracks. Here's some of the outside frames. I haven't been into the middle of them since I we started. Lots of honey. Look at that. Oops. So one of the, I was just trying to remove this frame right here and one of the honeycombs actually was kind of hooked to the side and I didn't get it unhooked and it broke off. So I'll take this one inside this section of honeycomb here and we'll uh, get the honey out. Well, that's getting them stirred up. So here's one of the here's one of the frames, and it's kind of towards the center. Really heavy. Here's another frame from the outside, and pretty good size. Lots of honey being capped. can show you right here this kind of in the cap sections if you peel that back there you can see how much honey's in there I can see that they're still bringing in a lot of pollen maybe I can zoom in here and if you look on the back of their legs they have these pollen pouches for lack of a better word if you watch here for a minute You'll see as they come in, on the back of their legs, they'll have these pouches full of, um, I'm assuming it's pollen, it could be, uh, it's different colors. Sometimes it's orange, blue, white. I don't know where they get it or where it comes from or why it's different colors. I also noticed that, uh, see the little bees right here are uh, standing outside the holes fanning their wings and I've heard the bees will do that to kind of get air circulation or to cool the hive down but it's not particularly hot so I don't know why they're doing that I've never seen it before but there's several of them here doing it it's kind of interesting there's the middle hole just watch a minute and you'll see them there's one you saw the one there with the orange the pollen sacs on the back of its legs There's another, there's an orange one you can see. It's pretty cool, isn't it? Now, someone said, uh, told me when I first started beekeeping that 
once you keep bees, you never look at the, you never look at life, you never look at the earth the same way. And I didn't really understand what that meant until I became a beekeeper, and it's uh, certainly true. Just the mysteries. You take you take life for granted. You take the complexity of nature and God's creation creation for granted, and you just watch this little organism. There's a little yellow jacket trying to get in. The, the bees will do battle with the other bees. The yellow jackets will come in and try to get in, and and they'll fight. And there's just a lot of things going on. Just the complexity of it is uh, astonishing. I mean, this in itself right here could be a lifelong study, and you still couldn't even scratch the surface of the complexity of it. It just speaks to the uh, amazing creativity and w the wonders and mysteries of God. I can just sit and watch these little guys all day. So I did some reading online about this dark colored honeycomb and I didn't get the impression that there's anything wrong. Uh, some people said that it was honey that they used for the brood or old honey. I'm not sure but you can see it's kind of very different than the, this comb right here. It's much lighter color. So from what I understand this is kind of a wax cup coating on here that they once they fill up the little pieces of the openings there then they cap it with uh, with beeswax and so uh, I'll take a torch here and we'll get a little pan and kind of melt these caps off and, and drain some of this and and try out the honey. So I cut a little piece of the comb off here uh, that still got the cap on it and from what I I saw one guy on YouTube that took his torch and just kind of melted this this wax off here so let's see with the see what happens. Definitely smell the beeswax. Not exactly sure how you separate this here. I'll have to read up on that. Maybe uh, strain this through a cheesecloth or something. So you know, I didn't really, so I didn't really plan on harvesting any honey this year. I was just going to leave it all to the bees. But since that comb broke. I, uh, I brought it in here um, and I just I think for I watched some YouTube videos and kind of for a small scale uh, producers like me just by uh, putting it in this little uh, sieve here for small scale producers like myself here that this is probably fine separate the honey from the wax you know what I think I'll do is I'll just maybe put this out in the Sun for a minute let's take it out here and put it in the Sun and that'll heat it up and expedite the honey going through. That's kind of my idea anyway. I'm going to have to read up on this. I do not know much about this. Alright, well let's just leave it there and see what happens. <laughs> 